afternoon. My name is Angela Rodriguez, and I represent three students who currently attend DPS Public Schools, Denver Public Schools, at CMS Community School. I am here because I am angry. I am angry that during the 2012-2013 school year, 27 wonderful teachers got let go and labeled do not rehire. We as parents should have a say so on whether these teachers should stay or no or, or not. We know the value that they bring to our children. For a principal to go into a classroom and tell a teacher that she is fired in front of 30 students is wrong. For a principal to for a principal's motto to tell a teacher is do not bring me a child until there is blood is wrong. What will happen to my children if they remain at Denver Public Schools with this type of administration and leadership? None of my teachers got support from their principal, from the administration. Our teachers had to deal with ver getting verbally assaulted, verbally abused, with having to deal with sexual harassment amongst children, and nothing was done. Us as parents got no notification when sexual harassment was being dealt with in the school because the principal wanted to hide it. Us as, our, as parents got no communication when drugs were brought into our school because the principal wanted to hide it. When the children are verbally assaulting and verbally and physically assaulting our children because the principal wanted to hide it. How can Denver Public School and their school board allow a first year principal to come into a school and fire 27 teachers without knowing what they're doing? Part of the reason why my children have remained at CMS is because of the wonderful teachers that CMS had. Now I do not know whether I want to keep my children in Denver Public Schools because none of my teachers are going to be there. These are teachers who dedicate their life their heart and their soul on educating our children, our children while we go out and work. And this is the thanks that we're giving our teachers is just basically kicking them on their behind and saying goodbye. I want the school board to realize this. Jefferson County, from what I know, is number one in the school district. Why? Why is Jefferson County number one? because our teachers are being labeled do not rehire within Denver Public Schools and they have to go to Jefferson County or any other county to teach. That's why they're number one. When is Denver Public Schools going to keep their teachers so that we can be number one? I want the school board to know that I am a voter and that I want change. And if they cannot give me the change that I want, then I am willing to go out and get signatures so that we can get rid of whoever is the bad apple at Denver Public Schools because the teachers are not it. These teachers, I have nothing but praise for them. They are wonderful teachers and I am emotional to know that we have young teachers starting out their career, starting out their life, and for one person or five school board members to determine the rest of their future is wrong. We as parents should have the right to decide whether our teachers go or our teachers stay. So I really do want the school board to reconsider and get rid of this do not rehire. Because I would like to know as a parent why each and every single one of these teachers are not rehirable. And I have the right to know. Because if they're not rehirable, then that should mean that they physically harmed a child. And if they did not physically harm a child, then they should not be labeled non-rehirable. So I want the school board to think about this. And the school board knows when I came on May 16th, I came for answers. And I have been calling every day since because I want my answers. And I will not stop until I get answers, until I see all of my teachers placed back in Denver Public Schools where they belong. Thank you. My name is Angela, A-N-G-E-L-A, Rodriguez, R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z. Thank you.